on the vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Well, here we are at the rest stop in Iowa. Let's go here and take a look at what the sign has to say. Historic Des Moines. The fork of the Des Moines and Raccoon Rivers was recognized as an ideal site for the military post as early as 1834. Fort Day's Moines uh, was established in 1843 but was abandoned in 1846 uh, following the treaty whereby the Sauk and Muskogee Indians, I'm sorry if I mispronounced those, uh, relinquished their rights uh, to the surrounding lands. The sale of the army property provided housing for white settlers who began to move uh, into the area at the time. Des Moines became a county seat in 1846 and in 1857 the state capital was moved here from Iowa City. Uh, Iowa's present capitol building was constructed between 1870 and 1884. Another military post was created in 1901 for the cavalry units. This 400 acre facility was later used as a training center for black officers during World War I and as the first training camp for the Women's Auxiliary Army Corps during World War II. The word fort was dropped from the name of the town in 1857. Des Moines grew to have the largest population of any municipality uh, in the state. Uh, it is noted as being the largest insurance center in the Midwest, home of several major published companies, publishing companies, uh, and the site of the Iowa State Fair, one of the largest agricultural exp expositions in the world. Noted Des Moines residents, several prominent persons have lived in Des Moines. Uh, John A. Kaysen, Kassen, a uh, U.S. Congressman, uh, an Assistant Postmaster General, and distinguished diplomat for many decades, first moved to Des Moines in 1857. Kassen, or Kaysen, uh, was minister to the Austria-Hungary uh, and also represented the United States uh, in international Congress dealings with such topics as postal regulations, the Congo, the Samoa, reciprocal tariffs, and bounty disputes. Mary Jane Cogshaw, a pioneer in the women's suffrage movement, came to Des Moines in 1865. She served as the editor for the Women's Standard President of the Iowa Women's Suffrage Association and in 1895 was elected to the Board of National Women's Suffrage Association. And Albert B. Cummins, a nationally known progressive leader, served as governor for three terms as the U.S. Senator for three terms and was president of the state, uh, uh, sorry, president of the Senate after Coolidge uh, Evaluation to the pres elevation to the presidency in 1923, Edwin T. Meredith, head of the well-known publishing firm, served as Secretary of Agriculture under Woodrow Wilson, and was a candidate for governor and U.S. senator, and was appointed to numerous federal commissions and boards. I just wanted to show you this right over here. I just thought this was really something beautiful and I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you. 
This is the the highway right out there. Uh, I believe that's I-80. I just wanted to show you some of the little surroundings that they have right here. That's really pretty. I like that. And for the summertime, it looks like they even got a place site back here for the kids to play. And they even got a clock on top of that tower up there. And right there is where the signs were that we just read. Right in front of the building. The beauty that is Iowa. Trace, do you see those windmills? That reminds me of you, Trace. I believe that uh, tower is smiling at us. Those are some giant windmills. I mean, that might be the biggest I've ever seen. There they are. More windmills. Gotta love them.
right here at the Flying J rest stop slash gas station. They have a uh, really cool car, motorcycle, and truck. I think those are really cool. What a sight to see. Well, thank you so much for coming on this vlog. I hope you guys had a great time. Uh, it is always a pleasure for me to be able to bring them to you. It is always very interesting seeing new places and visiting new things. And I think that's going to do it for us here today. We will be back with another vlog for each and every single one of you. Until then, Top Vloggers, out. Yeah.